Um, to work with this uh, shower base, it's really crucial that we understand uh, some principles about you know the way this thing works, operates. Uh, obviously, there are different methods, and we always try to find the best one, the most correct one to work with. We're working on top of a concrete slab, and we have a space of about 48 inches wide by uh, 36 inches deep. Um, the idea right now is to uh, change this for a, a cast um, um, base, a shower base. And for that, we have different steps that we need to, you know, several steps that we need to take. The first one is that you you have already a, a drain over there that was connected to a previous fiberglass en enclosure or you know base or shower base. Now we're gonna go with a, a concrete or you know ceramic finish base. Um, so uh, you have obviously the area. Always you want to make sure that you tilt the water towards the drain. That's obvious. Sometimes those things are not followed, not considered, and you have pockets of water and corners under the concrete slab. So. What we're going to do is we're going to have some steps that are crucial for you to uh, have uh, an adequate way of draining your shower and therefore prolonging the life of your shower. So let's start by uh, understanding the drain. The drain that we're going to use is this drain. You can find them in you know, rounds or linear drains. I've shown some videos about it. Um, but this one has three comp components, the, the top, the, the flange on the bottom and the base. This base we want to make sure that it's a little, you know, it's as, it's as flush or a little deeper than the surface. This concrete, as I can see, is not, this concrete slab is so um, uneven. So you want to make sure that it's still a little bit deeper, uh, especially that we have an area to work with. Obviously this has to be covered, prepared really well and show you steps. But uh, let's start by doing some cutting and, you know, preparing the, the area for our, our drain. When working with um, this kind of concrete slabs and overall with all your soft flooring, you want to make sure that your drain is is flush or just a little bit deep, uh, deeper or lower than than the surface. The idea is that you want to start from that point to create your pre-slope. Um, there are obviously the, you know different processes. If you don't have the possibility of doing that, you may need to build up your pre-slope a little bit more. Um, follow the recommendations of the manufacturers. Sometimes this is practical. I, I use it, so I want to share it with you. Now, um, when when I'm working with PVC piping, I use you know a primer, which is something that you want to apply to your pipes before you put um, the um, before you put your glue. Right. So here's one. Not necessarily needs to be this company. And here's another one, which is the the um, you know the PVC cement. Oh, this is a multi-purpose cement. Anyway, um, besides that, you want to make sure that when you do the cuts, they are nice and straight. Uh, and you want to go ahead and clean the edges. You, you can see here that I cleaned this already. And again, use levels and use, um, you know, as many things as possible to make this part of the project as level as possible. And so, so you don't have issues in the future when you start pouring your concrete um, base or your liner, your bedding for the tiling. So let's continue. Um, this is the type of uh, mixture that we're using over here. Uh, it's pretty much four parts of sand and one part of cement. But you can find already like a sand mix, sand topping, a bedding, or you know, however it is. This is one brand, you can use different brands. So what I normally do is that I use one or two bags at a time when I'm mixing. And I spread the water as I mix, you know, from side to side. What I do is that I actually sprinkle the water instead of uh, instead of just pouring the water into it and the idea that you want to have consistency on your mix and so the the um, mixture is easy to be compacted you, you don't want something too runny because it will be hard to to give that slope that you want and too hard because you just crumble and you will not you know solidify as a, as a whole piece so you know just just continue mixing and you know back and forth until you find that consistency by grabbing it and holding it and you know leaving kind of like a little ball in your hand as you do that stuff so let's continue mixing and then i'll show you how to apply it on top of the liner 
And now that we have the new uh, drain right in the middle, uh, nice and straight and level as you saw, uh, we went ahead and put a lot of, uh, this is a, a pea gravel all around it, and we left about two inches of, uh, of uh, you know, uh, a mortar base around, so it will be easy to work in the future. Um, the next thing that you're gonna do is the pre-slope. The pre-slope is a, a pre-inclination before you put your, your shower liner. Um, so we're gonna have about three eighths of an inch from the from the corner, from the perimeter, towards the center. So it would be like three eighths to zero here, um, using a a mixture of like four parts of sand and one part of mortar mix. And that's what we're gonna use. So you can find it sometimes as a bedding or sand topping or sand mix, pre-mix already. Um, but that's it. Make sure that the area is clean. We went ahead and cleaned this. It was muddy and everything. And we're going to go ahead and start doing all the perimeter and let it dry. Well, now we have the pre-sloping of our shower base. Um, if you notice, well, all the perimeter is straight and level but um, it has an inclination towards the center. Obviously you don't want to build a canoe, something so concave that it's going to be uncomfortable to work on. You want to make sure that you have a gradual uh, inclination towards the air. You don't want to overdo that, that inclination. You want to make sure that it drains properly there. So um, because you know this is a wet motor mix, you want to let it dry. We're going to let it dry for about a day. Then we go ahead and install the pre the, the um, a PVC liner. All right, so I'll show you how to install the PVC liner. Then we continue with the casting of the of the of the base of the bedding for our mosaic tiles. All right. Now that we have the shower liner in, I wanna just go ahead and show you. I'll tell you some important things about it. The shower liner is designed to contain the water inside your area, your shower area. Therefore, you don't want to cut the edges or the corners where you're gonna do the folding. You want to pretty much fold this like when you're packing up a gift with you know with, with wrapping paper. Um, so the 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 you know the folded areas you want to make sure that you you hide those things away from the, the studs and the reason if possible the reason is that you want to avoid as much um, bulkiness on the end so you don't have these convex walls um, that that are gonna you know concave walls that are gonna be weird at the end on the tips um, so don't cut those areas you know you may have a different situation so you need to use some sort of a PVC liner glue which I normally have just in case but in this case we don't need it um, so you have a nice organized and straight now on the flange on the drain flange you have four screws these screws are here and what I'm going to do is a small X with um, with a knife and we're just going to put it in and after that we're going to make a perforation that's going to be the one where this one's going to go. The idea with that is that you, you, you want to have with this flange and the screws you want to have a seal section over here. So you want to use a sealer inside so when you squeeze it in you will have a nice and tight uh, enclosure there system. After that what we're going to do is we're going to use the, the, the motor mix that we use or the, or the bedding mix. And we're going to start with one and a half inches of, of the mixture here towards the end about one and a quarter inches. So that's, that's it. This, uh, this is going to be my guide and I'll show you in a moment how it works.
to avoid any type of cluggage on the whip holes that are small cavities on the on the bottom of the threads you want to go ahead and use pea gravel um, on the bottom so that will help for the drainage you know uh, just make sure that you don't you know overdo this part because then you will have a weak area over here so you want to put it about three quarters of an inch from the from the bottom so it has a nice drainage once the water kind of naturally flows through little cracks and stuff what's the technique that I use to do this uh, leveling over here well it's uh, simply working with a perimeter making sure that all the perimeter as you can see here is nice and level uh, with the one and a half inch thickness and then after that you go ahead and and gradually level that to a quarter of an inch of inclination um, so that way you don't have this this massive pitch towards there and it's really hard to to walk on so let's continue by compacting everything using that grout applicator now you see the the final part of the video which is for the project which is actually um making sure that everything is nice and flush nice with a nice inclination, you know, a, a modest inclination so you don't have this exaggerated concave finish. Um, what I do is that normally I use the top of the surface as my way of, of leveling everything because it's kind of easy. But once you know that everything is nice and, and straight and you know you have a, a nice continuation without any type of bumps and stuff, that's why I use a big board to kind of scrape around whatever, whatever mounts we have. Um, so I, I go ahead after that and, and uh, you know, undo the the threads a little bit so I raise the 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 drain a little bit more and I can have the space for the um, for the mosaics once I'm gonna put it with your tiles so it's really crucial and that's pretty much it let it dry for about one day don't uh, don't step on it because you will damage it definitely and that's it we're gonna have more con you know more videos about this in this shower and if you want to follow them just kind of just you know stay tuned on my channel if you're not a subscriber subscribe um, you know, you can put those notifications, that little bell that is on the side. So every time that I put a video, you will be able to, to see it and, you know, have um, a new uh, a skill to use. So thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Bye-bye.